Hey, what's up guys? This is a quick video on my Anet A6 um, and the setup that I'm running right now. Um, basically, I am running the E3D um, version 6 and that's the fan. Let's see if we can get in there. And there you go, you can see it there. I don't have the... Uh, the fan duct because uh, it kind of broke right here and here so I'm printing out another one of the X carriages right now so that I can go ahead and replace that <clears throat> so starting from the bottom I have the Y belt mount um, it took a little while to break this in it was super loud uh, I printed out a gear let's see if you can see it as you can see, I printed one out. Um, I lost one of the uh, bearings, so it's only using one bearing right now. So hopefully uh, I can... I'm trying to find out which is the one that it uses, so that I can order some of those. And then I have the front um, brace. I also have the back one back there, but you can't really see it right now because it's printing. Uh, moving up, I have the Aegis bearings on all of my uh, axes, so I, well, not all of them, I have it on here, there's two, there's two over here, then I have them on the, on these, I have Aegis bearings as well, so that's four, that's, and four, that's eight that I'm running, uh, I was one, running two on these as well the z-axis but uh, I just they didn't work out uh, they're too soft for the c-axis so all the, the weight from this motor was uh, making the uh, the bearings kind of slant this way and they were slant that way and they were wearing out on one side more than the other side so I went ahead and used the metal ones that it had before um, what else this I have it taped just because I soldered that because I ripped it when I was changing the whole setup putting the E3D in there I am running the Bowden uh, and the Bowden is the original one that came with the ANET and I printed this out so yeah it's pretty much the original um, what else I have the the only tool you'll ever need <laughs> And then the um, the holder for the pliers. These are not the original ones. I uh, I broke those, so um, yeah, they are gone. <laughs> and I also have my brace holder that I made that I remixed for the uh, HP server um, power supply. So I'm running that power supply. Uh, it's been really good. I haven't had any issues with it. Right now I'm running Marlin uh, 1.18 I believe which is the newest one. Uh, I was running uh, Skynet before and it was Skynet 2.45 I believe. Um, and it, it pretty much works the same. Skynet is um, basically a, another Marlin. It's a, I think it was based on RC 0 0.8 or something like that um, or one I don't know what it was released on uh, 1.13 1. something like that but it's based it's basically a Marlin that was ported over to uh, the ANETs because we didn't have support back in the day but now we have support and we can get Marlin uh, I'm just making this video uh, so you guys can see that I have the A6. I am going to be receiving stuff um, that I'm gonna gonna put into the machine. And I know there's not a lot of videos out there for the A6, so I'm gonna be doing a couple, I guess, a series of stuff uh, when I start modding my machine. So right now, this is the the newest uh, upgrade that I've done, which is the E3D, and. Uh, I'm waiting for some parts that uh, um, 
Triangle Lab from AliExpress is gonna send me and I will be installing those and then I'll review them for you guys so um, keep tuned um, more videos to come hopefully um, I know I get pretty busy and I haven't um, uploaded anything recently but I want to start uploading on the A6 since not a lot of people talk about it um, even on the forums there's not a lot of information on it and yeah pretty much this is my A6 um, I like it I haven't had any issues with it the only issues that I've run across is a uh, user error uh, it's my first printer so um, I have made a lot of mistakes I did upgrade the um, the heating bed wiring because I put a uh, um, what, a MOSFET for the heat bed and I think I went too big on the wires so hopefully later on I can uh, go ahead and redo the wiring with something more flexible and thinner I believe I used speaker wiring um, and it was super thick it's a wire that I found at uh, Lowe's it was a 10 gauge I believe so maybe I'm gonna try going like 18 somewhere around there 14 because um, that is pretty um, pretty thick um, that's about it right now I did print the uh, X carriage um, the Z that meet the ugh, that hold the X axis uh, rods so hopefully I can install those pretty soon um, I just need to clean out the uh, the holes and that's pretty much it thank you hey guys um, I forgot to tell you another of the uh, upgrades that I have on my printer is um, the ability to turn it off and on with voice command and as well with the, my phone so hey Google turn off the 3d printer okay turning the 3d printer off see hey Google Turn on the 3D printer. You got it. Turning the 3D printer off. Oh. Yeah, boy.